Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sochinandan Dato. And uh, the idea is uh, if you want to uh, manage any natural resources, then you have to know the first uh, the system. Then you have to know the what are the resources available in the system. Then you can enter into the specific resources what you are going to be managed. In our course, this our course that fisheries management, we first know our in PBS two lecture we have already discussed about our system that is the marine system and we have discussed the marine resources. What are the resources available? Then we are entering into our uh, fishery resources. That is our main goal to manage the fish. And fisheries management is not a subject that is dealing with the biology of the fish or this thing. So if you want to manage any natural resource you have to consider it as a multi subject approach so in case here we want to manage the fish resources so we have to consider the biology of the fish along with the environmental ecology and uh, the social structure and also the economy so that uh, the all the uh, sector we have to understand so here in this lecture we are talking about uh, the fishery resources so first thing first that the fish is one of the most important sector for both the economy and social development of any nation okay so fish is one of the most important because most of the uh, so for the social structure if you go and if you go to the economy that from the fishery sector we are uh, earning a lot and lots of the people for the livelihood they depend upon uh, the fishery sector and uh, so is it possible to uh, feed the world population world whole population 6.3 billion people with uh, the traditional fish production or food production that is the agriculture no so without uh, the traditional food production and the, the normal distribution practice we are we are not able to feed uh, the whole uh, world population so fish or the marine fish is one of the main component to to feed or to able uh, to make the uh, starvation and to make uh, the feed uh, food to the whole uh, population of the world and uh, the question is now arises that will the resource in the sea be able to provide enough food to alleviate the future problem of malnutrition and starvation so is it the our marine resources or marine peace is able to give uh, uh, the enough food or enough food for uh, the problem to minimize the problem that is a malnutrition starvation this is the question the answer is yes answer is yes due to the peace as we all know peace and fisheries product are it is a readily available source of the protein and not only the source of the protein it gives lots of the micro macronutrient too so essential micronutrient and macronutrient and it's also a balanced diet for a good health so yes with the fish and fish production we are able uh, to uh, give the protein source and as well as uh, the nutrient source uh, and to minimize the malnutrition and starvation of the world population so if we look at the world uh, fisheries uh, so we can see that uh, the during 1950s the total uh, production of the world fisheries was uh, 16.8 million tons and after uh, the development of technology after the in, uh, the mechanization of the fishery sector it was a peak up uh, almost 80 six million ton in 1996 uh, and after that and it is now stabilized almost 80 to 100 million tons uh, and uh, now it's almost the uh, the uh, fish production of the global fish production is uh, stabilized almost 80 to 100 million ton and if you look at the Oman uh, uh, total uh, fish production structure, so Oman is one of the largest uh, producer in uh, fish in this region and uh, total capture of production was uh, quite stable during 2005 to 2011, almost um, 155,000 ton of uh, total production in marine fisheries uh, of Oman. But uh, after uh, 2012 to 2017, it's an huge increase in total production uh, of uh, fish is almost um, 350,000, 350,000 ton. Mm -hmm. 
and it is increasing going increasing so it's a good sign that we are uh, improving our uh, catch but uh, see that uh, total catch from uh, 1980s to 2015 so as i told to that is uh, it was uh, it was almost stable uh, and now it's uh, showing increasing after 2012 and the last uh, two three years data will be much more than uh, this uh, data so it's it's increasing and uh, that is the captured fishery capture fisheries means the marine fisheries means the natural fisheries it's uh, we are not culturing this fish but if you look at the culture fisheries uh, that is the aquaculture in the aquaculture total production and total production is very low in oman so we start aquaculture almost uh, after 2000 so it's it's not good uh, in terms of uh, aquaculture uh, oman but uh, we have targeted uh, uh, to improve our aquaculture our goal is 2040 so it we, we can improve it a lot in 2040 now the thing is that we can see if we uh, see the oman uh, per capita fish supply then uh, most of uh, the per capita fish supply of oman is coming from uh, the demersal and the pelagic so people are uh, much more like the demersal fish and the pelagic fish so basically the king fish uh, the tuna the sardine so these are the basically popular so per capita fish supply of Oman is coming mainly coming from the demersal and uh, the pelagic uh, fish. Now uh, we have to know uh, the how we can catch the fish. So methods of catching the fish it is also one thing that we need to know. So we need to know, we already have know the resources. We know the know the how much the catch is there. Then now comes how we are catching this thing. So if you manage uh, the uh, fisheries, then you have to know the total source, total resources, and total stock. And then you have to how you are. Uh, capturing so these all things are uh, need to be know so what are the fishing method so there is the different fishing method are used uh, to fish in worldwide so there is uh, the few methods are here all the methods so harpoon harpoon is a technique it's, it's basically a gun so it's a technique uh, to catch basically large uh, animal uh, basically the large fish and uh, wheeling wheel wheel basically is uh, catch by harpoon and uh, uh, global wheeling commission uh, world international wheeling commission is now the wheeling is totally stopped but the japan is uh, wheeling a lot so, uh, and due to using the harpoon so sword piece and blue fin tuna so these are used uh, to uh, harpoon is used to catch this piece and if you go to the pole and line pole and line is a very old uh, technique to catch the piece is almost 1950s technique so it's an old technique but uh, long line long line is used uh, popularly is everywhere so it's used to catch sword fish uh, in case of pelagic part we are used to catch tuna a cord in case of bottom along line we are used to catch uh, halibuts and trolling trolling used to catch the salmon albacores and the mahi mahi and drip net or gill net gill net basically used to uh, catch various type of pelagic all the basically all the pelagic fish are used to catch uh, by using the gill net or drip net and troll net troll net is one of the most devastating um, uh, technique to for the fishery resources because due to uh, troll net the fish are depleting not only fish are depleting the habitat habitat at the home or house of the fish is also depleting so troll net used to catch the anchovies cords and in case of trolling that is use halibuts and the persine persine is also used to catch the sardine herring and mackerel and there is a trap and pots also these are the used to catch the crabs lobster and the rock fish so these are the basically fishing techniques so you'll see one so here the drip net drip net is nothing but from the boat uh, we are anchoring a whole uh, nets and it's uh, going to maybe the pelagic or bottom and it's 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 floating here and then the fish are caught so drip nets and then the long line long line is nothing a long chain of uh, the hook hook and line it is also called long line of the hook is uh, there and uh, that is the long line uh, technique for catch the fish 
and the gill net gill net is the one of the popular technique to catch uh, the basically the pelagic fish so gill net or uh, maybe it's it could be a bottom gill net or the surface of pelagic gill net or uh, in case of bottom this is the bottom we are putting uh, this net into the bottom and to catch the bottom fish uh, uh. and uh, now the harpoon harpoon it's a, it's a it's a gun so it's used so i have told it used to catch the basically the big fish and per sign per sign is also a bad technique it's not a sustainable or it's not a good technique for the whole resources as well as the ecosystem so it's a net uh, surrounding the whole area and whatever inside there we are capturing so lots of uh, bycatch are coming from the basically per sign and the troll net now the troll net troll net is uh, i have told again and again that the troll net is one of the devastating technique uh, for the fishery resources as well as the habitat of this uh, marine ecosystem and the habitat of the fisheries so it's a uh, different types of troll net it can be used it uh, can be pelagic troll net or it can be bottom or the surface troll net or bottom troll net or the mid troll net so surface troll net is okay it's it's not that much harmful but the main problem is the uh, mesh size of the troll net is very very low so whatever uh, moving uh, in front of this net uh, it's it's capture everything it's capture everything and in case of bottom trolling bottom trolling the problem is here it's uh, the mesh size is very low it's capture everything that is the factor is okay but uh, there is it is also devastating the habitat it is devastating uh, the marine environment it is because if it is uneven the surface or the uh, sorry we uneven the bottom so but uneven bottom is a basically home or house or the basically habitat or niche of the fish they are um, try to stay there and they are built there so this in uneven habitat it's it's getting flattened uh, due to using the uh, bottom um, trawling so it's uh, destroying the habitat the home or house the fisheries or the many many other uh, marine uh, animals now the problem in fisheries and uh, what are the solutions so basically the thing is that maximum sustainable yield as we all are know the msy msy so maximum sustainable yield that is the maximum amount of fish that can be harvested without depleting its feature stock so this is the maximum limit you can catch okay if you if you go beyond this if you go beyond this that could be the harmful that could be depletion of the stock so so it is the thing that msy so you will be calculate the msy that is the main also goal of this uh, subject or this course and then what uh, msy was estimated at uh, 100 uh, to 130 million metric ton and uh, last uh, we have already seen that uh, our global uh, total catch or total harvest was uh, stabilized almost 80 to 100 uh, million metric tons so we almost uh, reach our msy our world msy is 100 to 130 million ton and we are harvesting almost 100 million tons so we are almost uh, reaching to our msy so it is nothing it is the time to stop uh, not go beyond this okay so then the fisheries where uh, the number available and estimated that uh, 45 percent currently overfished so we uh, have already seen this thing in previous lecture that 45 percent of uh, fish are now overfished okay and a uh, few example of the total collapsed uh, fisheries uh, that is one of a uh, good example is the Peruvian and Kuvi and the Nautil Redney Cod so this is uh, two global example of the depletion now the problem that i have told again and again the main problem is the bycatch so after over harvesting the second problem is the bycatch so bycatch is is, is the uh, in, unintentionally we are uh, killing uh, the non-targeted species so due to bycatch is we are lost a um, huge uh, biological diversity of the marine ecosystem and uh, trawling uh, i have told that uh, due to stream trawling so stream trawling is a very small message and due to this uh, very small message and whatever it coming in front of this niche it, it it it's captured it's captured so almost uh, 125 to 800 percent of the catch is discarded by catch due to trawl net 
so you can imagine that what is the percentage of destroying uh, the other resources other marine biological resources due to this trawling basically the bottom trawling main problem and the turtle is also coming uh, into the net and what is the solution the solution is we have to stop uh, this bottom trawling and we have to increase uh, the message of the bottom trawling and also we have to use uh, different uh, devices like uh, the for the turtle we are use uh, the turtle exclusive device uh, the it, it should be each and every bottom trawling uh, but uh, the problem is the fishermen are not uh, introduced uh, or not uh, deployed this uh, device into uh, their uh, trawl net and persein persein is also we in terms of uh, tuna basically we are used to persein i have already told persein is uh, it's in a uh, whole 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 uh, region it's uh, captured the whatever inside there so in 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 this thing that dolphins uh, always coming uh, into the net okay so it's a uh, big problem for the person so by catch is dolphin so it's a very big problem what is the solution the solution of this thing that uh, we are we are we are employing um, we basically put uh, the person net where uh, the dolphin habitat is not there so uh, so we are deploying it uh, non dolphin habitat uh, and and uh, we are put a upper part upper uh, edge cutting because dolphin is a mammal so it's come to the surface for the breeding and at that time it can be you know, goes out of this net so upper edge uh, net littering is also help to dolphin escape now drip net so drip net is also i have told that it is also a bad uh, net type and it has also small uh, mess size so it's 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 capture everything many sorts of the marine animals along with the fish so it basically ban uh, ocean fisheries but still few country are using the drip net uh, and the long lining long lining many albatross albatross birds uh, it's also coming and snatch uh, due to this long line and the hooks are uh, cutting uh, the albatross so what is the solution we try to deploy uh, the long line uh, in the dark the when the albatross is uh, inactive and uh, it's uh, maybe try to line out the underwater so this is the solution for the long line now uh, the fisheries management plan so fisheries management plan how we can uh, manage the fishery resources so thus that is we are now entering into the management so first thing for that if uh, you have to identify the species the which species you want to manage so that is fish specific management or it could be various type it's maybe uh, by species single species management or maybe multi species management okay so you have to identify that which pieces you want to uh, do manage then uh, and i have already told to you that that management uh, is uh, not a tax of uh, in terms of fisheries management it not a tax of the fish biology so it's 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 along with the biology you need the environmental the social economical all kind of data you need to manage the whole fishery resources and uh, try to prepare a fisheries management plan to protect the fish resources and while maintaining the opportunity for domestic and commercial recreational fishing so we are giving uh, the opportunity to the commercial fisheries the commercial fishing and uh, so our management plan on such a way that we keep uh, this fishery sector and uh, but it's uh, make it uh, a sustainable uh, limit and uh, the modern approach is uh, that ecosystem uh, based fisheries management plan it is the recent or the most modern approach uh, to manage the whole fishery resources and that's all thank you